Well, they say football is a game of two halves, and they were uh, certainly uh, right there, weren't they? Arsenal one, Chelsea two. The first half, well, first 30 minutes, absolutely shocking. Um, apart from William running back several times and covering for people, there was nothing I could really take out of that game with any positivity. But then Lampard changed it. He changed the formation from 3-4-3. Three, three. Uh, and then he um, brought on um, Jorginho, taking off Emerson. And um, going to a, a flat back four. And what a difference. Jorginho seemed to inspire everyone around him he as always seemed to create his own time on the ball and we started to pass and hit blue players now some other things I'd like to point out the other substitutions uh, Callum hudson Adoy came on and do you know what he looked a lot like his old self he was well, for a start off, he could pass to people in a blue shirt, which is a big, a big up on his latest performances. Um, and he was direct and um, very, very positive. So well done, Callum hudson Adoy. You've took a lot of stick from people who shouldn't be giving you stick, but you know what social media is like. And um, then. I have those that have watched my videos, or two or three a year, um, know that I have been talking about a fullback that we have who can also play on the wing. Uh, mainly a right, a right fullback, but he can play on the left as well. Um, a certain Mr. Tariq Lamptey, only 19 years old, only signed a contract at the end of this season and. Paris Saint-Germain are right on his case because the lad is seriously, seriously talented. And um, he played. He came on. And I thought he had a blinder, you know, for such a young lad. So uh, so well done me, him. Well done Callum hudson Doy, And well done Jorginho. While I'm doing the well dones, um, well done Tammy Abraham. For scoring against one of the top six, one of the big six sides. Um, again, built up mainly by other clubs just trying to have a go at some sort of stat. You can have a stat for anything, like I was saying yesterday. Um, well done, William. I thought William had a good game as well. Um, I don't think he gets enough because he had a bad season last season. I don't think the, the lads get enough. Praise. He uh, he ran his socks off again today. Um, yeah, the back four. Yeah, um, still look shaky, don't they? Still look shaky. But you know what? It's going to be a short review today because um, it was such a game of two hours. I'll tell you what we did show in the second half. We showed fight. If we showed half that fight against Southampton at home, we would have won the game. We show fight. And to finish up the last game of 2019 with development, ex-development squad uh, players, Mason Mount, I thought played all right, played well. Um, Tammy Abraham, um, Tamori, um, Lamptey. I'm forgetting one, I know I am. Tamori, Mount. Empty, Abraham, a four. Um, that that really really shows great things going forward, I think. And uh, it's been a it's been a sort of season we well most sensible people thought. Uh, talking about sensible people, half time on Twitter, there was a guy there saying, "Oh, typical, typical Lampard. That's it, one nil down, game over." And uh, I, I, I shouldn't, I shouldn't really respond 
to imbeciles. I'm annoying myself. Why get wound up with people who are such poor supporters with such chronic football knowledge? I mean, I'd love to. I'd love to have heard his comments when Chelsea were three-one down against Napoli and had to win to get to the next round of the European Cup. You know, oh, that's it. We're out. There's so much negativity on social media. And I'm convinced some of these people aren't real supporters. They're just the sort of they're just the expectors that unfortunately have tagged on to Chelsea and probably places like Man City as well. Um, since the success, God, if, you, if they had to support in the eighties, oh, when we were truly and utterly, you know, rubbish. I'd love to have uh, I'd love to have seen them there. They wouldn't have been there, would they? They'd be Man United supporters. Um, and I shouldn't buy it. I shouldn't buy it. I should feel sorry for them and just let it go above my head. But sometimes the stupidity and the lack of support just uh, just gets to me. And I'm wondering if this is what them young players, for a start, are feeling at home because the away support's excellent. But uh, Stamford Bridge at the moment, it's We've still got a lot of good supporters, don't get me wrong. But we've got a big minority of Muppets, the sort of non-supporters that, that are writing on social media a lot of the time. Don't get me wrong, I'm not having a go at everyone on, on social media. You know, I, I I actually enjoy some of the, the more um, educated, shall we say, vlogs. Um, and... Um, I think it's good that we've got them, but oh, the idiots. Why? Why chills? Right, so yes, Jorginho got a tap in. Um, and I thought he was he was my man of match. And uh, and then Tammy, what a great finish. Good work from William. I thought the cross back would give um, Tammy too much to do. But showed what good quality he is and uh tight turn and uh an in what more can i uh, say the arsenal goal um i think emerson uh, emerson would have been taken off because of the tactical change but do you know what he's got to really watch that goal back that we conceded against arsenal he was ball watching he was asleep and he's Got to get to that ball before a I'm telling you now, John Terry had been there. That ball would have been in the stands, probably with a Bamiang sitting next to it. So Emerson, you've got to sort yourself out. David Lewis, that what was he playing at all afternoon? You know, I do question his personality. I mean, after the celebration after he scored for Paris Saint Germain. And when he come back to the club, I was never, I was never sold, and I never ever really, really rated him as a, rated him as a footballer, but not as a defender. But today, you know, the follow through, uh, that he just, I just missed Canty basically, and all the other niggly stuff. Oh, just grow up, Mister Lewis. Just grow up. Um, and that's about it, really. Um, Arsenal showed a lot of fight and spirit. And uh, how we come through that, I don't know, but uh, but we come through it. So goodbye 2019, and in 2020, up at Chelsea. Ignore the stupid people on Twitter and other social networking sites who probably have to knock loads of doors at night to find out where they live. We knew this would be a, um, a season of transition. If we don't make top four, don't get too downhearted. If we get knocked out of the European Cup by Bayern Munich, don't get too downhearted. Because I'll tell you what, next season, you heard it here first, Chelsea will be a force again. OK. Happy New Year to you all, and uh, see you in 2020.